So iOS 18.1 will be the first time that the public will get their hands on Apple Intelligence on their corresponding iPhones. And even though Apple Intelligence will start to get its hooks and its claws into different applications and most of the native operating system, there's one application that got a real big revamp from a feature set and functionality standpoint, and that's gonna be the Photos application. So in this video, what I wanna do is not only talk about the revamped UI in terms of the look and the aesthetic, but also give you guys all the different features that are coming with 18.1 from the big headlining features because there are some big ones, but then also some tips and tricks along the way that are gonna go relatively unnoticed. So without further ado, let's talk about the Photos application with 18.1 and what that means for you guys. Let's get into it. So I do want to give a quick PSA in terms of what devices support this because even though this is 18.1 and there'll be multiple iPhones that get 18.1, your iPhone needs to be compatible with Apple Intelligence in order to use any of these features in the Photos application, so do keep that in mind. And that's going to be the 15 Pro, the 15 Pro Max, or newer when it comes to iPhones, and then of course any M-powered iPad or any M-powered MacBook. So now that we got that out of the way, let's dive in and talk about all these different features coming to the Photos app. So let's get right into this video everybody and let's open up the photos app and see exactly what's going on and this is the new ui for the photos app now you will have this already if you're on 18.0 if you're coming from 17 to begin with then you will not have this but this is the new look photos application and if you guys want to get a whole walkthrough on this piece of it definitely watch one of our videos linked down below but this is what you're greeted with when it comes to the photos application and now when it comes to the new Apple Intelligence features that are coming to 18.1, the first one I want to talk about is going to be the new cleanup removal tool. So let's go into one of these pictures that I took earlier today and let's see how well it works, if at all. So let's click on here. This is a picture of a vacuum that I took earlier. And if you go into the edit button and press on that, you have a new option down here called cleanup on the bottom right. If you tap on that, you have to give it a second to prepare the cleanup or exactly what that means. And I have noticed that if I'm not on Wi-Fi, this doesn't work. So that's kind of annoying. I'm not exactly sure what's going on. It's probably uploading the photo and then bringing it back down. So you're probably better off being on Wi-Fi. But you essentially either circle or color in stuff that you want removed from the image. So if I want this little kind of mar moniker removed, which is just the price point and things like that, I can just circle it. You get the Apple Intelligence Glow. It highlights what you think or what it thinks it wants to remove. And voila! it's gone. And as you can see with this particular situation, it did remove it pretty perfectly in my opinion. So you can see that it did remove it and you can continue going. So if I want to maybe try to remove this, let's see if it actually removes that. It does highlight everything, but as you can see here, it did have a little bit more trouble doing that. So if I keep kind of drawing over it to see if it could remove it, you keep kind of trying and trying until it tries to get it done. But some of the time, especially if it's a big portion of an image, it won't be able to do it. You can just undo it with the top left corner if it looks unnatural. But as you can see with some solid stuff, it does work pretty well. So I'll press done here and you can see that what I originally took off is gone. And if I want to go back here and revert it, you revert it the same way that you do any other way. You go back to the edit, you press the revert button, revert to original, and then you have right here, all the information that was there before. So now if I wanna do something a little bit crazier, right? maybe this right here where you have a bigger background, there's a little bit more variables. Let's go back into the edit, let's go back to cleanup. We'll give it a second to load up the cleanup. And then if I want to, again, erase the actual dream name right here, let's see if it erases it. You can see that it does erase it pretty well, but again, this is in a white solid background. Now if I wanna remove one of these vacuums totally, it could be a little bit more difficult to see exactly what's going on, but Again, it did remove it, and maybe if you just glance at this image, you might get away with it, or somebody might not be able to notice that something happened there. But you can see that it does look a little bit wonky. If I try to remove this black one right here, you can see that it is recognizing that I want to remove it, and it is kind of gone. Like if I zoom in here, you can see that it is gone. It just still has a shadow there, which is a little interesting. So it does decently well with some larger images, or if the piece that you're removing is a little bit more part of the photo than it shouldn't be, then it does get a little bit iffy. But again, for the most part, to get rid of little things, it works extremely well. So the next one in the new photos application with 18.1 is going to be all about search. Now search has gotten better over time and it, honestly the way that search has been functioning, it kind of has trained me to be very generic with my search. So like search dog or search the location of a place or something like that. But now you can get a lot more precise and talk to search in a more natural language, which makes it a lot better. So you can see here, maybe I want to type in lunch with Fiona and you can see that it does pull that up right away. And it'll pull up all the photos that kind of correspond with that, which means it's looking for food, it's looking for lunchtime, it's looking for things that are being eaten. And then also is looking for Fiona to be able to see what's going on there. And another example, if I could search in here would be vacation. 
and then it'll search all those photos that correspond with that prompt. And again, the natural language recognition has gotten so much better with Apple intelligence that I'm, honestly, it's a great thing to have now and it's just so much easier to search for things, not just in the Photos application, but holistically across the entire operating system. And then one of the headlining features of 18.1 in the Photos app has to be creating a memory. So right here, if you tap on here, it'll allow you to create a memory based on a simple natural language prompt. And if you guys aren't aware, memories are created automatically by the Photos application and it has been for years. And for special occasions, I actually really like the memory stuff even before with iOS 17 and 16 because it brought you back in time to maybe a birthday or a vacation or maybe something that you did one day on a Sunday. But now you can actually just type something out and create a custom movie. So I can just type something in like park with Fiona, send it in. And then it'll do its kind of magic over here, as you can see, which I also think is a really cool kind of UI element. It kind of just brings everything together. It lets you know where it's coming from, 2022, the time, the date, the areas, the locations, the people that are with you. And then it does create a nice movie, which is awesome to see. And it'll go through and it has music in the background. And again, just one of my more preferred features because it just brings everything together. And if you are a little bit of a nostalgic person like I am, then this is awesome. And what you can do here is create again. So you can have it try it again with different photos. Maybe that'll mash up together. You can rate it here to send some feedback. You can favorite it, which I'm going to favorite this one to watch a little bit later. We'll press done. And then there you have it. And then you can even go here and see that it's now in your memory section, as well as a bunch of other ones that I've had in the past. So that is another headlining feature that I highly recommend trying out with 18.1. And then one little trick that I like to show people is if you're editing an image, so if you want to add some custom filter, so if you go into, let's say, the dramatic filter that I like to use, maybe you go to adjust the, you know, some other sort of like vignette to make it look a little bit darker, maybe you want to crop in a little bit as well, you can definitely do that. And then what I used to like to do is you press done, you press in the little ellipses here, and then you're able to copy the edits. And now what's new about this is that you're able to actually copy the crop, which is something you couldn't do before. And you can also decide what you want copied out of everything you've done. So I want to copy everything. We'll press copy. So now if I swipe over to this one and I go into the three dots, and then press paste edit, you can see that it'll slowly start to revert, zoom in, as well as change everything up for me. So if I go into my edit and I long press, you can see that I go from the original image to the old image and back and forth. So you can see that it does work a little bit better than it did with iOS 17, adding some additional functionality to your options when it comes to copying and pasting all of your edits. And then one more small piece in terms of customization, and this technically was with 18.0, but you can actually customize and reorder how everything is shown to you in this new at Photos application. So if you want your memories to maybe be on top, you can move it over here and you can even remove things. So if I wanna remove, let's say the shared wallpapers, I can X out and now if I go all the way to the top, you can see that my memories are on top and then on the bottom, it will totally remove that wallpaper section if you do wanna do that. And then lastly, I wanted to go over the settings real quick, especially the Apple intelligence features. I do recommend keeping this all turned on because it just makes your experience better over time. But now you have the Apple intelligence and Siri kind of built into the photos application, allowing it to learn from this app. You can show it on the home screen, suggest applications and suggest notifications. So that is everything new with 18.1 in the photos app. And let me know in the comment down below what you think overall, but let's finish up this video. And that was just about do for this video, everybody. As you saw, the Photos application, yes, got a visual change up with 18.0, but with 18.1, got a bunch of actual useful features, which I'm gonna be using on my day to day, whether it is creating memories from scratch or using the removal tool to be able to remove things, or even something as simple as copy and pasting my edits, including the crop tool, which is something that was not available, with something like iOS 17. So there's a bunch of new quality of life updates as well as some awesome new features that many people will be taking advantage of with 18.1. And I definitely wanna know with a comment down below before we wrap up, what you think about the new 18.0 Photos application revamp. Do you like the new look? Have you gotten used to it? Do you wish you could go back to it? I'm kind of in the middle where it took me a little while to get used to it, but I finally did get used to it and now I like it because it's all on one page. But sometimes I do miss those bottom tabs and those different menu options. But let me know in the comment down below what you think about that, but that'll do it everybody. Let me know if you're on 18.1 beta, are you waiting for the public release to come out around October 28th, and then be able to take advantage of these Apple intelligence features. Let me know in the comment down below, but if you didn't make it to the end, leave a little dolphin in the comments down below so I know you made it to the end. And if you wanna watch more videos like this one, click on one of these videos right here. And until next time, I'm Fernando, and I'm out of you everybody. Peace. My favorite feature has to be the new memory creation. I think that one's dope. Peace.